This is the termite bait station. The previous owners of our house had about 20 of these installed around the perimeter in 2009. It consists of a plastic sleeve and a cartridge that contains a slow acting bait. Once termites find the bait, they carry it back to their colony, spread it to the other termite workers and the queen, which kills them slowly. Since these plastic baits couldn't be installed at the concrete back patio, this area had liquid termite treatment. Holes were drilled through the concrete every 12 inches and liquid termiticide was pumped into the ground. These chemicals are supposed to create a continuous barrier around the foundation of your home. The advantage of liquid treatment is that it usually works much faster. Termites die within minutes of exposure. It can also last over 10 years without any intervention or maintenance. The problem with liquid treatment is that dead termites in the area are a repellent, so the remaining termites will try to find another way in. Termites only need a tiny 30 second of an inch gap to pass through. They also don't carry the poison back to the colony. It is a very invasive process and requires special equipment. You also need to treat every crack in your slab and every water and drain penetration inside your home. Liquid treatment uses four gallons of termiticide every 10 linear feet. So our home would need approximately 120 gallons of chemicals. I decided to just replace these old termite baits around my home instead of pumping chemicals into the soil. So to learn a little bit more about termite prevention systems and its importance and all the different types, uh, Mike, we've got Michael Bosco of Safe Haven, Best Control with us. Thanks for coming over to our yeah, house, Michael. Thank you for having us. So how big of a problem is termite uh, damage in Texas especially? So, well, I don't know the financial for Texas alone, but in the United States, it's a $5 billion worth of damage annually, which makes it more than all natural disasters combined. Wow. So it's substantial. Termites are extremely cryptic, right? So they'll come up through the slab a lot of times and you never know that the termites are actually consuming the home because they're inside the wall and the two by fours uh, and not exposing themselves. So the damage isn't all that evident until you start to remodel. This is a perfect example where you can see the termites brought the mud into the their galleries that they were consuming because they have to protect themselves. And so uh, when you see the mud and the striation, then that's your indication that you definitely have a current termite infestation or a, a past infestation. So this is a very typical cedar plank that's uh, wood fencing. Same thing. You can see the galleries that were produced by the termites. This is from years past and what's happened is the mud has been washed out. So, is a termite bait system better than liquid termite treatment? A baiting, in our opinion, is much better because um, you're using the termite uh, habits against it, right? It has to forage for food. And so by us placing uh, stations uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 feet apart around uh, your home, we're using that, um, that desire for them to go seek food and find food and then bring that food back to the colony. So we're actually taking, uh, we're, um, taking that colony out, right? So that it, it, it is a colony elimination system. Whereas a liquid termiticide system, uh, a liquid termiticide treatment is going to really just be a barrier and it will leave that colony to continue to survive and, and maybe even continue to probe uh, and find uh, access into your home. Installing these bait stations is very quick and easy. You first check the ground with the probe to see if there are any pipes or wires running underneath. Then you drill a hole with an auger. Place the station in and cover it up. Let's take a closer look at this bait. Each plastic sleeve has a barcode on it which is tracked. The bait has a barcode as well. When a third of the bait is consumed, it is replaced. However, scientific tests have shown that only one inch of this bait is needed to kill an entire colony. 
the centricon bait is made out of a plastic and cellulose, which is a source of food for the termites and the rest of the colony. It also contains novoflumeron, the chemical killer. Every termite has to molt or shed its exoskeleton to get bigger and live. The chemical inside this prevents molting. This is the key difference between liquid systems and bait. Termites do not die immediately after consuming this. They only die when they hit molting. Termites don't associate dying with the bait, so they continue to eat it. Once termites bring this bait back to the colony, it takes around three months to completely wipe them out. Now let's discuss where these bait stations need to be installed. It should be beyond the drip edge of the roof and at least 18 inches past the exterior wall. If your home has had liquid treatment in the past, this area will repel termites, so you shouldn't place the stations too close to the edge. So how much do these systems cost, both for the install and then for the yearly uh, checkup? So installation can vary widely uh, between companies, especially if it's between preventative or curative. If you have a curative uh, situation where you have active termites, you're going to be anywhere from $1,000 to $2,500 on a curative because now we have to take care of an active problem. We're probably going to want to use an above ground station on those active termites and it's uh, a situation that may require a little bit more effort on our part to get control. Um, if it's on a preventative basis, then the price is going to be much lower. It's just going to involve the in-ground stations and um, like Safe Haven, we, um, what we like to do is combine it bundle it up with our other pest control services so it can get as low as $400 uh, of an install on prevention as part of a two-year kind of pest control commitment and then the on the annual basis you're looking at around $25 a month to maintain the system. There are a lot of pretty strong opinions on the internet about Centricon systems and other bait stations. Some people believe that liquid treatment is far more effective. I think effectiveness depends on where you live, what types of termites you're trying to kill, and how badly your home is infected. Installing bait systems are much easier, but maintaining the system for $25 a month can get expensive in the long run. When you get a termite prevention system installed, you should talk to a local specialist to figure out what's best for your home. So now that we've installed the system, what are the next steps? Okay, so we're going to put a sticker underneath the kitchen cabinet. It's a notice of treatment. If you guys sell the home, uh, that information is there. The next step will be that we'll be contacting you next spring and let you know, hey, it's time for us to come out and inspect the stations. So that's when we'll come out, open up each station, see if the bait, if it's been hit, is there activity, uh, and then um, if the bait needs to be replaced, we'll replace the bait. So we do that every every year, okay. and so that whole um, maintenance is is important, right? To keep the system functional. If you don't maintain the system, then it's um, it will, you know, it lapse. You just uh, you don't have the bait integrity at that point. Thank you so much for coming out to our home and explaining all the different types of bait stations and uh, how could people contact you? I think our website is the easiest way to get a hold of us. It's safehavenpest.com. Uh, so come to the website, fill out a form or call us. We're happy to answer any questions and we appreciate you having us out and protecting your home. Thank you, Michael.